I like to show you how I do some of the container gardening while using a stability ball which is going to help take stress off my hamstrings and my low back. Just rest on this ball on the side of your hip. Take one leg out in front, one leg back as before and just rest on your side and you can start to clean the containers out, whatever needs to be done for cleaning. So that way you can make your garden look really nice. So another way to do this is a modified downward dog. Push the ball out in front, drop your chest down, trying to straighten your legs as much as you can and you can still work in your containers, trying to clear them up. That's another exercise or yoga pose to be able to do. Here would be another, straddling the ball, sitting on it. Take your back leg and keep it straight. Keep your front knee over your ankle. It's a great way to use a ball to help take stress off your hamstrings. Along with the standard sitting on the ball and lean over it. Because anytime you feel you want to get some other exercise, lay on this ball and just simply do some crunches. Inhale back, exhale lift. Inhale back, exhale lift. Keeping your abdominals contracted, draw your navel to your spine and lift as you exhale, inhale, bring it down. Your neighbors might think you're a little, little crazy, but you know what? You're exercising smart while working in your garden. So there's another exercise that you could be able to do in your garden. Now if you want to take the ball out and not even use the ball, now what you want to do is press your thighs back, keep your legs straight and come down with a flat back. That's great for stretching out your hamstrings and your low back. I like to stand with my leg out in front of me, point the foot, keep the leg straight and come down with a flat back. You can rest one hand on the leg, keep your back flat as you come down, just start pulling the weeds that need to be coming out of your garden. Okay, so you want to make sure that both legs stay straight, your back is flat as you come down. And then make sure that you unlock the leg, take the other leg back, and then just switch side. So you just go ahead and lean forward, grab the tool that you need, and then unlock the leg, come back. Here's another great yoga pose that you could do in the garden. Sit in a squat position, put your arms inside your legs, and you can kind of just lean forward, put your hands onto the ground. So it's a great stretch for the inner thighs along with your lower back. As you maintain this position, you can just start finding things that need to be done in your garden. Go ahead and kneel down and do your gardening. You can simply do some gardening this way also. You can also go into a kneeling twist. So you turn, looking back over your shoulder as you exhale. Kind of loosen up your muscles in your torso. Turn. Great. Now another would be a modified camel pose where your hands are at your low back, elbows back and shoulder blades and push your hips forward as you lean back. Just simply breathe. Now you're stretching out your quadriceps and your hip flexors along with your abdominals. Just breathe and relax as you keep your hips going forward. Good, you're going to come up and relax. Now our next yoga pose to go into would be a downward dog. Curl the toes under, we lift our knees and hips up and push back against our hands. Just keep trying to flatten out your back, bring your chest in toward the ground and toward those feet. Breathe and relax, pushing back against your hands. Keep your arms straight, your hips lifting up high. Okay, we bring our knees down. Take rest. So now here's how I like to stretch out my back when I have a rake or a hoe in my hand. So here, you grab with your hands about shoulder distance apart, get your feet under your hips, raise your arms up, and then slightly move to the side as you exhale. So here you're feeling a big stretch on your obliques or the side of your torso. So you just keep reaching as you breathe, and then you're gonna inhale, come up, exhale, go to the other side, get that big stretch in the torso, looking up at the elbow, or that arm. 
Inhale, come up. Okay, so you could do this several times. You could do a 30 seconds hold into one side. Keep your arms straight as you can. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go to the other side. Now we're going to go into a standing spine twist with bringing your arms out in front of you. You're going to the right side with your torso, your hips to the left, looking back at that hand. Okay, we inhale, come back to center, and we exhale, go to the other side. Hips go in the opposite direction. Inhale, we come back. So those are some great stretches to be able to do when you're working out in the garden. And also, another great stretch to help loosen up your body is keep your feet under your hips, slightly tuck your hips under for a pelvic tilt, and just swing your body left and to the right. Swing those arms. Feel how that loosens up your spine. You might feel a little crack and pop in your spine, which is great because you're just loosening up those muscles. This is a great way to help reduce back pain. Use a stability ball, an old feed bag, put that underneath your ball, and just simply lay on to your ball, on your stomach. And then you just go through and start to clean the areas where the weeds are a problem in your garden. Pull them by hand. Keep your abs tight. Stay balanced. Now the wider your feet, your legs are on this ball, the more stability you're going to have. If you have chickens at home, sometimes you have a little helper. They like to clean up after you and look for those extra bugs or worms. Okay, so that is one way to work with that. Great job. Okay, so those are some yoga poses you could be able to utilize in the garden along with using a stability ball, which is a unique way to be able to take on your gardening, which will help reduce back pain and help to stretch out your hamstrings while enjoying a great relaxing time beautifying your garden and growing great vegetables for yourself and your family. Hope this has been helpful for you and please leave a review, a comment, and rate the book for me please. Okay, this is Irvin Rue Jr. of IrvinsFitness.com. I hope this yoga video is helpful for you. Have a great day and take these yoga tips into your garden and grow some great vegetables. Be happy and be healthy. Namaste.